There's a huge problem in the FPV world today, which is how do I make a living flying mini quads? Well, this camera might just be the ticket. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Rio and this is Aerial GP. Welcome to the channel. I'm extremely excited today because in my hand is something that us FPV pilots have been waiting for. As FPV pilots, we like to have control. We are control freaks, so everything from our settings to the way we fly, it's all tuned to our personal tastes and that's what makes each of us so unique. So we love to fly and furthermore, we love to share that experience with our friends and family by putting a lightweight camera like a GoPro or uh, most recently an Insta360 camera and then we post it online and share it with our friends. This is a game changer because now we can put a stabilized camera, a mechanically stabilized camera on our little mini quads and that has never been done before. Um, so it's incredibly exciting. Now at this point you're asking why not use a Mavic Air or a Mavic Pro to just get your shots and be done with it. Well. Like I said, we are control freaks, so we like to have all the control we can with our mini quads. Now, it is a gyro stabilized platform, but we tune in a way so we can fly in acro mode. So, we can do flips and rolls and power loops and all this stuff, and that makes it very maneuverable where we can fly into very tight spaces and we can go back and forth at very quick speeds, accelerations, and stuff like that. So, that's something that a Mavic can't do. As filmmakers, we tend to shy away from using footage that are super fish eye or the horizon shifted because it really takes away um, the attention of the audience and puts attention on the actual camera. As we've seen recently, a lot of FPV pilots, or a couple of them, the top FPV pilots, have started to get work flying their rigs. Now what this is going to do is this is going to just up your game. And if, you're, if you are also one of those people who haven't tried it and are thinking about it and want to do what you love and get paid for it, well this might be something that you might want to look into because it's something that anybody can get. It's, just, it's cheaper than a GoPro. So this applies to everything from like cars or you know winter sports when you're flying over a skier and stuff like that. But I'm going to now put this on my quad and test it out and see what's going to happen. Um, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe it's going to fail and get all crazy and stuff like that. But at least we can try. This is just the version 1. This can be version 2, version 3, version 4 in the upcoming years. If you're looking into doing this as a business and looking for something where you can put your passion to work and get paid for it, this is something that you might want to get into in the very, very beginning because nobody's doing this. Okay? So let's check it out. Okay, so that was take one. It didn't go so well because it started tilting down and I don't know what happened. Um, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to lock the gimbal um, in a horizontal position and hopefully it'll work a little bit better. But I did hit a, hit a leaf, so maybe that was the um, issue. So I'm gonna try this again and see if, it, if I get a better result. All right. Good morning you guys. It is two days later. A lot has happened since I just saw you like a couple seconds ago. Basically, um, I mean, I was making the video, the first part of this video on the weekend and uh, had a shoot coming up. Basically, we had Air Blaster over. You guys all know him. He's amazing on Instagram. Just killing it. Just came out of nowhere almost. And um, we had him over. We tested some stuff. Um, and it was amazing because I was making this on the weekend, this video. Uh, he came into the office. I knew this was happening, you know, but we were talking about stuff and said, yeah, yeah, so want to put the Osmond awesome pocket on the quad. And I was like, oh my God, I, I was just talking about this. Let's do this. So I know my first test did not go so well. And so combined with that and, you know, his test flights and stuff, we went into the warehouse and we found some stuff to make this work. And oh boy, 
this worked. I can't show the footage from what we did, but it's amazing. I can 100% confidently say this is a game changer. Now, I'm not gonna say everybody can do this because you kind of have to be a cameraman. You have to have that mindset. You have to have that experience. And it's definitely not something you just slap on and just like a GoPro, it's not gonna work that way. So if you do try it, it's gonna need some skill. If I'm gonna try some stuff with my quad today, uh, it's the next morning. Um, I'm super tired and sunburned and everything, but it's also raining. So I'm just gonna go down, up and down my driveway and uh, see if um, if my results are any better. Anyway, let's let's get to it. Okay, so this is the quad that had problems. So this may not work. It might still have some crazy vibrations. We're gonna try it. So that test was a little bit better. It felt better, it looked better. There's still a few little glitches here and there with the EIS, I'm sure you can see it. Um, but I do know 100% it does work because we set it up with Air Blaster setup and it worked perfectly. On the shoot, we got all these amazing shots and it was really cool. So it's just a matter of duplicating that setup on my quads. So I just need to tweak a few things here and there. I'm gonna do some things a little bit differently. But you know, that's my customized way of doing it and that's what's fun about it. So, I want to know what you guys think. Go check out the Osmo Pocket. Go put it on your drone. See what you guys think. Don't crash it though, because it is fragile. But just give it a try. See what you think. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, yeah.